This is the A130-100. You might think it is a 747, but it is not. This was built by Edensk, and uh, we are in flyout, which is absolutely insane. Anyway, if you guys want to see this thing fly, stay tuned for the rest of the video. Okay, so I do actually really want to play around with that jet, but we're going to go ahead and build something first. So uh, let's go ahead and try and build, um, I want to say a helicopter or like a very, very tiny helicopter. I've not messed around with these at all, so I'm not entirely sure how this is going to go, uh, but we're going to go ahead and try and do it anyway. So let's go ahead and make these guys very small to go to the front, do the same thing. There we go. And um, yeah, we're going to be making a very tiny Little tiny, little tiny helicopter. Yes, a little tiny, little tiny helicopter, which is um, strange. Anyway, let's go ahead and try and figure out how to make this thing work. I really don't know how I want to go about doing it, but um, we need to sort out, sort out something in order for this to work. So um, let's start out by building the main fuselage. That is this piece right here. We're actually going to go ahead and add a loop to right there. We're going to add a loop to right about here. And we're going to go and design this to actually look nice in the center. But first, we need some holes so that we can actually see where the pilot sat. There we go. All the way around to the outside. Fantastic. Okay, so what we should be able to do now is actually grab this guy. Go ahead and mirror it on the side. And we should be able to... What is this? What have I done there? No, 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 no. Hang on. Vertex, yes. Grab this guy. Uh, now that it is mirrored, it will actually work on both sides. And we're essentially just going to go and drag these guys backwards so that it looks kind of cool. And there we go. Now, it is going to look a little bit like a plane to begin with, but that's okay, I think. All right, so the next step is to actually increase the distance for this thing as well. So let's go ahead and drag this guy backwards. This is where our rotor is going to go, which um, honestly, now that I'm looking at it, seems a little bit strange. Anyway, from here, we're going to go ahead and drop this down to 0.1. I know that seems very crazy, and 0.1. We're going to go ahead and drag this up quite far, and then we're going to go ahead and send it out in a straight line backwards, just like this. I know that seems very insane, but that's what I wanted to do. So that's what we have done. In fact, let's scoot this backwards just a little bit more, send this backwards just a tiny bit more, and there we go. I'm going to go ahead and make this slightly smaller, 0.075, and do the same thing right here. Yes! Okay, fantastic. Extrude this again, send it backwards, make it a little bit smaller, 0.5. Sorry, 0.05, and do the same right here, 0.05. Bam! Extrude it again. We're actually going to go ahead and make one of those, zero. There we go, fantastic. So, this is the main shape of our helicopter so far. Looks silly, but that's fine. Alright, so at the very front, we're going to go ahead and extrude this guy, make it go forwards. We're going to make it 0.4, yes! We're going to make this guy 0.4 as well, fantastic. Bring this forwards, bring this forwards until we can't see that stuff below. And that seems crazy, but sure. We're going to go ahead and make this even smaller, not a point, I don't know, 0.2, sure. And 0.2 right here as well, fan dabby dozy. All right, extrude that forwards. Do it again, there we go, and make it smaller, 0.1, and 0.1. There we go, go ahead and bring this backwards, so it's very, very squidged, and then make it zero and zero. And that will be it for us, yes. Okay, so far, that is a very strange looking thing. Landing gear needs adding. Here we go. Landing gear. Let's go ahead and put this on both sides. There we go. Fantastic. It is very large at the moment, so we're going to go ahead and squidge this down. Uh, and hopefully we can make it look a hell of a lot better. Because at the minute, this is too big. There we go. That actually doesn't look terrible. So we'll leave it somewhat like this. Is that right? Is that how we should keep it? Maybe. Maybe not. I don't know. We might change this in the future. But anyway, go ahead and put that inside of there. And we have ourselves some landing skids. Wonderful. All right, next thing is actually going to be a clutch. I know this seems like a strange thing to add next, but yes, I say a clutch. I mean a gearbox. Let's go ahead and whack this under here. Flip it over so that it goes backwards. And uh, that looks lovely. Yes. Let's go ahead and squidge this down so it's tiny. There we go. And then we need our propeller to go on top of there. So let's get ourselves a propeller. And shove it on. Here we go. Excellent. That is a bit too big. Not going to lie. So we're going to go down to 0.5. There we go. We're going to give it three blades instead of two. And then we can actually lower the entire thing down into the aircraft. And that should be nice. Uh, hey, nice. Yes, lovely. So center of mass is currently off, but that doesn't matter too much. All right, I decided that was too small, so I've made it a little bit larger. There you go. It is at 0.4 now instead. And then we're going to go ahead and work on the rear. So I'm actually going to go ahead and scoot this backwards. 
just like this. I'm going to scoot this guy backwards too. And this guy, I guess, can stay where it is. That's fine. Let's lift this up into position. Lift this up into somewhat the right position. And uh, that looks okay. Yes. Nice. All right, so the next thing is actually going to be a rotor that goes on the rear. I don't think this is actually how you do it, but maybe it is. Maybe it actually is. So that rotor is going to be like 0.1. We're going to go ahead and flip it on its side. I can't remember which way round these should go. Uh, but essentially, if that's spinning that way, I think we need this on this side. I mean, I could be wrong. Uh, I haven't built any sort of helicopter in this game before. So this is all guesswork. At least a little bit anyway. So let's go ahead and put this into here. There we go. Shove it forwards a tiny bit. There we go. And that is in the back of the aircraft. Cool. Is that going to work? I don't know. Oh, wait. Actually, sorry. This needs to not go on there just yet because it also needs a gearbox. If we don't give a gearbox to this guy, then we won't be able to power it. And that will be an issue. So let's go ahead and shrink this down massively. There we go. All the way down to there. We're then going to go ahead and spin it off to the side just so that we can actually see it. Probably that side, to be fair. We're going to push it over to the side as well, just so that we can actually connect this to it. And then we'll be good to go. So, attach this guy directly onto there. Excellent. Now it's both attached. We can bring this into here. Bring it backwards. And that should work. At least it should work a little bit, I think. Can I make this smaller as well? Can I do this? Oh, man. There we go. Okay, lovely. Yeah, I mean, I guess that works. They're still attached together, so I think that's fine. Okay, push this across. Go ahead and grab this guy, push it across as well. Fan dabby dozy. There we go. Okay, so we have some weight issues. Um, we're going to go ahead and get ourselves an engine, and this should sort out a few of our weight issues, uh, at least a little bit. So let's go ahead and try and put it in here. Um, I want it to go central if I can, so let's just do this. It's not going to be anywhere near this big. We're going to make it way smaller than this, uh, but it is going to go inside of here. So. It is going to be a four-cylinder V... Uh, I guess a V4. Sure, we're going to go with that. Uh, I can't remember how these work. So, length of piston... Okay. Increases displacement and lower end torque. We kind of need lower end torque, so let's go ahead and just leave that at, like, 150. There we go. And then this guy, which is the bore, increases displacement power uh, and available valve area for airflow. So, we're actually going to lower that down to be about the same. There we go. So that is a kind of a very small engine. Let's make it slightly bigger. There we go. It is now a V6. Should a V6 be powering a helicopter? Probably not. But is it going to? Maybe. So let's go ahead and leave that there. From there, what we need to do is find our gearboxes. This is our first gearbox. Okay. Our input is going to be the piston engine. And then our other gearbox, which is this one, is also going to have an input of the same piston engine. There we go. So now if I was to spawn this in, it would actually turn, which is good. However, we need fuel. So that is the next thing we're going to do. We're going to get a sphere, and we're going to have this be our fuel tank. Okay, it's going to be a lot smaller than that, but it is going to be our fuel tank. So let's do this, and also this, and then push it in there, and hopefully that'll look okay. Bam, fuel tank located on the inside of our aircraft, fan dabby dozy. This is going to be run by Avgas too. Okay, is this going to work? I have a feeling it's not, um, but we'll see. Before we get on with actually testing this, let's go ahead and make our yaw control. Uh, five, there we go. Um, I don't know what the difference is between these two. So I'm actually going to make both of them five. That's fine. This guy needs to be like crazier though. So this is going to be 15 on there. Uh, we're then going to have five on pitch. We're going to have five on roll and we're not going to have any yaw. Okay, is this going to work? I have a feeling it might, but we'll see. Okay, um, let's go ahead and save this as our first tally. And go from there. All right, guys, here we are. This is this is our helicopter. Okay, right. I, I thought that might be an issue, but I also thought I might have been able to time it. But actually, uh, just to make it a bit easier on myself, I'm going to go ahead and send this way further back. Okay, it's going to go all the way backwards to about here. From there, we're going to go ahead and grab this guy. And again, send this bit backwards to there as well. Go ahead and put it inside of there. Good. And leave it like this. Okay, with that being done, we can now actually go to this. Grab the gearbox. Send it backwards. It is bringing the propeller with it. And put it in there. There we go. Okay. This seems a little bit long, but hopefully it's fine. There we go. That's crazy. All right, save it and let's go. 
All right, it is spinning. It is spinning. It blew up again. Uh-oh. All right, so here it is, guys. I've actually changed the engine to be a two-cylinder engine. I know that seems very small, uh, and I guess it actually is. Uh, that is not what we want to. And controls. Okay, so we got your trim, we got flaps trim, we got speed, we got pitch. So if I do pitch, all right, it does actually pitch up. But the thing is, I don't know how to actually make it go up, if that makes sense. Um, we can roll it, we can pitch it, but I don't know how to make it just go, go straight up. Okay, so it actually turns out there is a control for collective. If I press 4, the collective actually increases. Uh, as you guys can see, it is now 1 degrees. There we go. I'm going to go ahead and throttle up, and we explode. I mean, that's a bit of an issue. But let's go back to our smaller engine again. Uh, and this time, we'll, uh, we'll hopefully have a good time. So it is only a two-cylinder engine. That means it's not going to be very powerful at all. But let's see if it gets into the sky and doesn't explode. Because, you know, that is what helicopters are supposed to do. They're supposed to get into the sky and not explode. So, let's go ahead and uh, see our collective. There it is. It just explodes. It's constantly exploding. Here we go, guys. Here we go. So, uh, I've made it a four-cylinder engine again. Here we go. So, let's go ahead and press four. Oh, my goodness. Okay, restart flight. Let's try that again. <laughs> So, it seems to explode quite quickly, and I'm not entirely sure what's doing that. Um, I'm finding it very difficult to, to see, because it happens so quickly. But if we throttle up a little bit, let's go to like 50%. There we go. We put the collective at like 5. It goes crazy, and then it blows up. Interesting. Oh, here we go, guys. We have ourselves a helicopter. We're doing it. We're flying. I mean, I say that. We are spinning around circles, not very, not having that much fun, but that's okay. So if we go to controls, we can actually set our yaw to counter whatever's going on there. Hopefully. Oh, maybe that's adding to it. I'm not sure. Actually, you know what? I don't know whether I've done much with that back tail rotor to actually allow it to work. But we have a helicopter that is somewhat flying. Uh, hey, nice. Okay, it doesn't explode on takeoff anymore. Good. Okay, so instead of using a rotor right here, which I, I don't really think I should be using anyway, uh, we're going to go ahead and just use a propeller. So let's go ahead and push this out to the side. We should be able to get both a positive and negative collective on an actual prop. So if I put this on here like this, and we make this thing, I don't know, like, very sm... I don't know. I don't know, actually. Blade count, we're gonna go with two. There we go. Let's twist it to the side, just so it's correct to begin with. We don't want two of them. What's the point in that? Hang on one second. Here we go. We don't want two, we just want one. Let's go and shove that on there. Scale is gonna come all the way down, so the center is smaller. But then the blade length is gonna come up. There we go. Cone style, doesn't really matter. I guess we'll go with this one. Blade length is already up there. Uh, we're gonna go with two blades. Uh, blade type is gonna be like... I don't know, I, I, like that, I guess, sure. And then the scale of it actually needs to come up a little bit anyway. So we'll leave it like that, good. Um, oh, then we have to work out all of this. Ah, that's annoying. That's very annoying. So your response will go ahead and put up all the way, I guess. I don't know, it needs to go both ways. How do I figure that out? I don't know how to figure that out. Uh, we're gonna go with 40 right there, there we go, good. And then we're gonna go with 20, and then we'll go with zero. Hopefully this works. It might. Okay, so I was just thinking, maybe we can actually put a pitch degree into this, and essentially the pitch will actually push us forwards and backwards. Uh, I don't know whether that's necessarily true, but let's see what it does, because... I'm not sure. This so far isn't really working out for me. I've managed to take off, don't get me wrong. That bit has gone alright. But the rest of it, not so much. So let's go ahead and do this. I guess pitch isn't going to work because it's just going to tip me over. Uh, yeah, yours is the thing that really needs to work here. It just doesn't. Alright guys, we have finally done it. So, in order to actually do this, what I've managed to do is... I, I, essentially, we've got contra-rotating props at the top. So, that is two propellers. One is spinning one way, and one is spinning the other. One spinning clockwise, one is spinning anti-clockwise. Anyway, what that means is we are actually quite stable in the sky. Then what we've done is we've allowed this thing to actually work to push us around. Uh, and now we can actually fly this thing around. Unfortunately for us, though, it is still going slightly sideways. So we have to trim it out in order for this to work, and then we're good to go. So now we can actually just fly this. Oh, never mind. 
it does have the occasional explosion. That is true. All right, so instead of messing with the gear ratios and stuff like that, I've decided to be lazy and uh, I've gone ahead. <laughs> what, what I've done is I've actually changed the engine to be a V6 instead of a V8. So um, there you go. Now we can fly it, but it is very slow, but it's working. Um, we're going to go ahead and try and land either like on top of the ATC or on top of, I guess, one of these buildings over here. Let's do that. Okay, so landing on the ATC seems like it's going to be a bad idea, actually. So let's go ahead and uh, ignore that. Here we go. Let's go ahead and fly over to these guys instead. Uh, and that should work a lot better. Oh, we exploded again. <laughs> Yikes. All right, so yes, we are now flying again. Here we go. Hopefully this time we don't explode. Uh, what I've done this time is I've allowed both of these to actually control your. One is obviously backwards and one is the right way around. This is currently not doing anything uh, but spinning. That is literally its only job is to spin around. Because I can't quite figure out how to make that thing actually work. So I've trimmed these up. Let's go ahead and see if we can land on one of these buildings. And we'll go from there. All right, I don't actually know which one to land on, and I, I think it's going to be quite difficult to do so, but let's go ahead and try. So, lower our collective slightly. Here we go. So, we should start heading down. Hopefully. I think we're going to start heading down anyway. I'm, gonna, I'm trying to. Oh, never mind. Okay, so when you lower the collective, you actually need to lower the throttle, or we just lower the throttle and that'll make us go down. Okay, let's try that one more time. All right, here we go. So instead of landing anywhere else, we're just going to go ahead and head over to the ATC. Here we go. And we're going to land down here somewhere. So I've throttled down a lot. I've throttled down a hell of a lot. Okay. And then we should be able to lower our collective as well in order to actually go down. Because we don't want the blades overspeeding. And then if they overspeed, they actually make us die. So that's not what we want. I have throttled down slightly. Here we go. And we're going to go ahead and land. I actually want to land on that building, but let's land on this one instead. At a bit of an angle. That's fine. Okay, let's try and land on the apex if we can. No, never mind. <laughs> oh! Oh! Okay. Uh, well, we went through the roof and now we've landed on the floor. Would you look at that? Would you look at that? Successful flight number one. We went through the roof of a building and we have landed. Well, hey, nice. Turn the ignition off and we are done There we go. All right, cool. Let's go on to the thing that you guys have all been waiting for. Let's go check out this Not 747. JK, let's do this first. <laughs> just get in. I just want to do this really quickly. Add a loop. Here we go. Shove it onto there-ish. Yes. Uh, what we're going to do is actually drag this guy upwards. And we're going to create ourselves a bit of a windscreen. Because at the minute, we do not have one. Actually, that's not going to work the way we've done it. Add another loop. Here we go. Just next to that one. Add another loop just next to that one. And then we'll use the center one for our loopy business. Here we go. So grab this guy and this guy. And in fact, let's just grab all of them. Here we go. Send them all upwards just a little bit. Send it backwards just a little bit also. There we go. And I guess I could just make that... I don't know. This isn't the way you do this. This clearly isn't the way you do this correctly. But we're going to go ahead and make our glass out of this piece. Here we go. And that is our windscreen. We're then going to go ahead and do it on this side. There we go. I mean, two layers of glass is still see-through, so that's fine. Uh, but you can see through the actual aircraft itself. Anyway, that doesn't matter. There we go. We did it. Our, our first helicopter is built. Nice. Alright, so here it is. I should mention, this is the first aircraft that I've actually tried in this game that wasn't built by me. So uh, I'm assuming it's going to be very good. Anyway, this is the A130-100B747NT, which is like B17 not. Uh, interesting. Here we go. It looks like uh, not a B-17. What am I saying? A, 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 a 747 NT. What am I saying? Okay, anyway, let's get this double-decker plane into the sky. We're going to go to flaps 2. We don't need them fully down. Uh, and we're going to take off. Now, this is a long-range wide-body airliner with two decks, as you guys can already see. Um, it is based on the iconic Boeing 747, but they didn't use blueprints to do it. Which, honestly, you've done an excellent job, considering. <laughs> anyway, can we take off? I don't know if we've got enough runway for this. I feel like we do, that we must do. I don't want to do a tail strike. There we go, we're in the sky. Alright, good, so landing gear goes up through the body, and we are in the sky. 
The estimated range of this thing is between 10,000 and 12,000 kilometers. That's quite far. It has trimmable horizontal stabilizer, which I recommend you rebind the keys. Oh, interesting, okay. And uh, yeah, we're going, nice. Not gonna lie, in the sun, this thing is very shiny. Like it is so shiny, it's ridiculous. Um, but yeah, we're going. We are going. Let's go up. Here we go. Oh yeah. Currently we're going 300 miles an hour. We're gonna try and ascend all the way up to... I don't know, let's go with like 45,000 feet. 45,000. We're gonna go with... I don't know. What should we go with? Mach 0.6, I guess? And then engage. Maybe not Mach 0.6. 0.8? There we go. Okay, so it's going to climb all by itself. It's going to do it all by itself, and uh, hopefully it gets there eventually. Look at that thing coming towards us. That's actually very scary, not going to lie. There it goes. That is crazy. It looks so good. So I was thinking about this. How are the windows actually done? It looks like they're all painted on, but they all have like a separate little like paint scheme, which is cool. So we got the blue, then we got a little tiny bit of white and then a little bit of gray. Uh, and that makes it look like they have some depth to them. We then have the doors, which actually have quite a lot of detail on them considering they are paintings. Um, and I guess you could actually like save a picture of one of these doors and then actually just go ahead and import it onto the game and then paste it in. It doesn't have an interior, but that's okay. And it does have Jimmy at the f at the wheel. I was gonna say the wheel. The wheel isn't right. At the yoke, I guess. Um, and honestly, it just looks sick. It looks so good. Uh, I believe I still have the flaps down though, so let's go ahead and get rid of those. There we go, and allow Jimmy to fly it all on his own. You know, I've never actually noticed the terrain in this game is actually so nice as well. Look at that, it looks crazy. Uh, I see a little town over there. I think that is going to be our destination today. I'm actually just going to fly over to there and try and land this thing. Um, I know I should probably try and land it on a runway rather than anything else. Uh, at least for my first flight anyway, but um, no. We're going to try and land down there somewhere. Okay, as it turns out, there are actually a few towns around here. There is one down there, there is one there, there's one here, there's another one there, and another one there. I just want to land at one of these. So I'm going to go ahead and start throttling down. I'm going to start losing some speed, losing some altitude, and uh, yeah, we're going to go in for a landing. Now, it being the first time I've flown this thing, I don't know how comfortable it is doing aerial maneuvers. Uh, I would assume a 747 doesn't like it, but we're going to try. So let's pull it around. Here we go. We're losing altitude actually extremely quickly. Let's drop our flaps down. We haven't slowed down yet, but that doesn't matter. And we're going to drop our gear down as well. Bit early. In fact, very, very early, but that's okay. Throttle down massively. Here we go. We're going to be landing in with the bushes. I don't want to hit the town, though. That is something I do want to say. I don't want to hit the town. So let's bring this around. Here we go. And we're going to try and scoot it over the first town and land it just after, which might be a bit difficult to do. Maybe. Controls, is there a um, speed brake on this? Spoilers. Oh, there are spoilers, look at that. They've actually popped up on the wing. Okay, we're gonna scoot around the second and third town. Here we go, and are those trees? Okay, probably not the best place to land this. Probably not the best place to land this. It's fine though. All right, hang on. Speed break is there too. There we go. Okay, good. So we're gonna we're gonna continue around here. All right, nice. And I'm gonna assume the trees aren't gonna destroy us when we land there. So this should be good. Here we go. We're still going 300 miles an hour. 400 miles an hour, pretty much. All right, we're still going too fast for a landing. We're still going a little bit too fast. But we gotta go down. We gotta do it. Alright, sorry trees. 747 coming through. Okay, we might have bounced. We might have bounced. What was that? Why was there just a puff of smoke there? Okay, that is a hill in front of us. Can we go around the hill? Can we go around the hill? I don't know. Yep. This thing keeps its speed. Like a lot. We are still going 260. All right, here we go. Here we go. Slowly but surely, pitch up, please. 
Quite a bit. I can't pitch up any more than this. We're going in. Uh-oh. <laughs> Uh-oh, I might have smacked a 747 off the ground. Oh, we've lost our engine cowlings. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, we're going down. Mayday, mayday! Going down in the trees! Okay. Yeah, this wasn't a very good flight at all for me. But we tried our best. In fact, I should have turned off the engines. There we go. Ah, oh, there we go. Yeah, no, perfect landing. Perfect landing. Would you look at that? So it turns out uh, I'm not qualified for this. Um, I should have tried to land it on a runway and I should have tried to go the right speed. <laughs> um, but never mind. I can do it in Microsoft Flight Sim. I just can't do it in this. But that's okay. Anyway, um, thank you guys very much for watching whatever the heck this video was. Um, make sure to check out this plane if you guys do have the game already and check it out when you do get the game. Um, it is Edensk's uh, A130-100B747NT, not B17NT, because that's not what this is. Anyway, um, thanks for watching. See you next time. Goodbye.